Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Reviews, and we are back with another video. In this video here, we have the new Windows 10 build that is 10,581, and in this build we have got not much new features, but uh, uh, slight bug fixes and uh, performance improvements. So this video much uh, might be a little little small than the previous videos. So let's just get started. First, we get to the bugs, uh, which is in the storage option. Once uh, once you have selected your storage you cannot change it uh, after after you have selected it so you cannot uh, uh, go back to the phone phone storage you cannot uh, see what's taking up space in your phone storage and your apps will only have only be in the um, uh, SD card storage as you have selected and if you have selected uh, phone storage before updating to the build then it will only uh, be showing the phone storage over you you cannot uh, select SD card storage even after hard resetting your phone and also if uh, while you install some apps from the store which needs to be installed in the internal storage then there will be uh, an option coming there that the storage uh, mem uh, storage settings will be overrided for only just one installation and rather uh, all the other installations would be happening in your selected options only so if you have selected SD card then for just one instance it would be installing in the phone storage and rather installing all the apps in the phone storage so that's good and a quite a bug which would be fixed easily in the next build or with just a hot fix and in the uh, camera or no sorry photos photos app while you uh, just slide to the folders the app crashes and that's a bug I think with the app which would be fixed with the later updates uh, from the windows store and rather than uh, having all those big improvements it's just uh, performance uh, performance upgrades and slight fix of all those uh, status which were occurring while the app uh, while the uh, previous builds this build seems much faster than the previous builds as you can see the store uh, loads faster not only the store but also other other applications for example opening vlc player will open it a, bi a bit faster you can see the start uh, start screen of the app and you can see easily it's now quite good it feels faster fluid and also many things are updated see the maps now opens uh, very fast all those uh, apps uh, the fix uh, this fixes can have improved the performance of this build over and over and it's quite good to see uh, such performance upgrades and so no stutter nothing um, not much very few uh, stutter i can see uh, only in the photos app I, I have seen and talking about the battery the battery is quite good in this build it's uh, now less less drainy as compared to the previous builds and the battery saver settings are uh, as same as it was previously so you can actually see what's using your battery uh, the battery usage can be easily monitored uh, with this app and also you can allow uh, different applications to run in the background so the phone is now quite responsive so you don't need to actually uh, every time plug uh, the phone into chargings and this build is really uh, very responsive and fluid and fast too so all in all it's a great build you can actually use it for your uh, as your daily driver and can easily uh, last a day for you uh, with all the games internet browsing all of those stuff uh, it would easily last a day and or actually more than a day as com as with our 640 xl so let's just end our video here um, uh, i would conclude this video with uh, that it is usable as your daily driver you can go ahead and install i haven't hard resetted the phone since the last build and um, neither found it necessary to do so so if you like the video do hit that like button uh, if you have any queries or suggestions please do write in the comment section below do share the video with your friends and all of uh, you know 
do subscribe to our channel this is simple reviews saying bye